And don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello there. All right, so Haunted. They went a different route with this one, just like the pre previous one I reviewed, Children in the Well. They went a different one with this one. This one is Alien Infection, something like that. So it's not haunted as uh, demons and ghosts and spirits. It's haunted as she's constantly being approached by aliens and they do experiments on her. And she's she feels like she is like, honestly, I liked her understanding. Like it was like, OK, this is what I am. She believes that she's basically a tagged animal that they come in and check on her. They take parts from her to see how she's doing and just see and use her as a guinea pig. I'm like, okay, that, that concept I agree with. I'm okay with that. I like, I like that. I was like, okay, she, she's a tagged animal and they're, they're, we're just their farm. And she's just, that happens to be that one. And it's just, with this one, I was like, okay, I can, I can kind of see it because how, 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 how can you put factual evidence to something that's, well, not not re I'm not saying not factual, but is is so out there and people still debate it to this day. So <laughs> if you've been abducted or not, uh, I mean, I live out in the country and I've never had any issues my entire life. I've been out in the middle of nowhere, but it's just like <laughs> so she's she's abducted. She starts having abdominal pains like when she's a little girl and they basically say it's sympathy pains because due to her mother, but they're going to inject her with a needle and she starts having flashbacks from when she was being abducted all these times. Then they move into the city and it all stops till 10 years again. It seems to pass 10 years when she's approached again and it happens over again. And apparently they had been doing so much experimenting on her that she can't have children anymore. So it's just like one of those things, just like so many things happen. It's just like, it was, and it was funny because they actually had a, um, a UFO specialist there and who was basically trying to add, add to the story. Like anytime she would say something, he would basically talk about how I've heard this many times from other sources. It's a lot of the same thing. A lot of people seem to repeat the same stuff. They either can't see the face or they just can't, their face is so disturbing. They don't look at it. So it's just like, it was like, okay, I, I like this little perspective. I like it a lot, but, oh, but this one, I gotta say, this one did have articles about the story, but the problem was that I had about it was like, there are so many articles, there are so many stories like this. Is this actually true at this point? Or is she trying to jump on the bandwagon or with the track record Netflix has, are they just making this up to basically seem as if this woman was in that situation if she actually was there because to me it started feeling like nope not really but this one I actually did enjoy a bit more because it felt a little more disturbing it felt a little more panic inducing because imagine having absolutely no way to escape the others they could have easily moved but no I mean this is a, a an alien race that can literally beam you up from anywhere you are so it was like, okay, this is a little more haunting, but still I had a lot of issues with it. I had a lot of problems with it. I don't know why this, this, this is like trash TV to me, I guess I, I can't stand it, but I saw like, I have to watch just to see how Netflix is going to twist these stories to make them seem either fake or they just are so obviously fake that they, they try to twist them to make them seem real. I don't know which, which is which. Thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time. Toodles.